Greeting and welcome all on behalf of Nimi Chennai. I am G. Rajeshwarna from NSTA Chennai. Today our class is about Introduction to National Electrical Code NEC 2011. India is on the path of its development and the infrastructure sector has grown progressively. The buildings and service so constructed depends upon the power for the construction and for better utilization. In fact, power is one of the prime mover of development and electrical energy is the predominant energy is being used because of the EC generation, transmission and final utilization. Specific regulations to be adhered in the supply and the use of electrical energy to be laid down in Indian Electricity Act 1910 and the Indian Electricity Rule 1956. In order to rationalize these practices, India's first national electrical code was formulated in 1985. It has a several well established codes of practices which give the assistance for selection of economics, uh, installations and the maintenance of electrical equipment on the usage of electrical energy. It had also been planned that the relevant code is revived, the national electricity code has also been revised. In the present scenario, there is a vast variant from the national electricity code which was formulated in 1985. The task of revision of NEC was taken up by the Electrical Installation Sectional Committee. So the revision follows the earlier forms of NEC with the modifications and additions in the line in the series of uh, IEC, what we say International Electrotechnical Committee, named the series 60364 in the act of electrical installation. Generally, safety, economy, reliability, convenience as well as the provision for future expansion are the major consideration while considering the electrical layout. The generally NEC guidelines are provided based on the installation characteristics, supply characteristics and parameters. And also it covers the switch gear for control and protections, supply lines, earthings, meterings, services, fire protection and miscellaneous also considered on this. National Electrical Code 2011. The code is divided into 8 parts which are further divided into number of sections. Each section refers the description of the electrical items devices, equipment, etc. Let us see the overview of the parts and the corresponding sections. So, part 1. Part 1 covers the general and common aspect which would apply to all types of electrical installations. Wiring installations are an important aspect of any electrical installation. In part 1, 20 sections are there. Each section reference is given below. Section 1. Section 1 of the code describes the scope of the National Electrical Code. Section 2 covers definition of items with references. Section 3 covers graphical symbols for diagrams, letters, symbols and signs. Section 4 covers of guideline for preparation of diagrams, chart and tables in electro technology and for marking of conductors. Section 5 covers units and system of measurements in electro technology. Section 6 covers standard value of AC and DC distribution voltage, preferred values of current ratings and standard systems frequency. 
Section 7 elaborates the fundamental principles of design and execution of electrical installation. Section 8 covers guidelines for assessing the characteristics of buildings and the electrical installation therein. Section 9 covers the essential design and constructional requirement for electrical wiring installation. Section 10 gives guideline and general requirements associated with short circuit calculators. Section 11 covers requirements of installation work relating to building services that use electrical power. Section 12 covers general criteria for selection of equipments. Section 13 gives general principles of installations and guidelines on initial testing before commissioning. Section 14 covers general requirements associated with earthing in electrical installations. Section 15 covers guidelines on the basic electrical aspects of lightning protective systems for buildings and the electrical installation forming part 1 of the system. Section 16 covers the protection requirement in low voltage electrical installations of buildings. Section 17 covers causes for low power factor and guidelines for use of capacitors to improve the power factor in consumer installations. Section 18 covers the aspects to be considered for selection of equipment from energy conservation point of view and guidance on energy auditing. Section 19 covers guidelines on safety procedures and practices in electrical work. Section 20 gives frequently referred tables in electrical engineering work. Our NEC National Electrical Code is intended to be advisory. It contains guidelines which can be immediately adopted for use by the various interest of safety, economy and it can be kept to the intent for the electrical installation practices to the power of the best practice in the world. Optimum benefits of the electrical energy utilization is only if the electrical installation is of sufficient facility and it is affordable flexibility. Now I hope you all understand the concept of National Electrical Code 2011. Thank you all. See you in our next video.